right. There you go, you're fucking recording. I'm watching something stupid on YouTube for fucking funsies. I paused it for this. Alright! This is a re-recording, by the way. Philanthropy and my own stupidity. Take two. <laughs> ah, my face! Okay. As some of you may be very well aware, it's difficult to speak with teeth that are broken. Now, ignoring that and continuing onward, well, mostly ignoring it, but it does have some effect on what I say now, doesn't it? Continuing onward. Alright. There's a bunch of uh, nonsense going on right now. There's the looting, the, the rioting, the, the... The other thing. The looting, the rioting. It's not the pillaging. That's the same thing as looting. Uh, the protesting, that, that's the other one. There's all that nonsense going on. Okay. As far as helping people so they don't feel the need to go off and riot and protest and loot. To help ease what's going to happen. To help everyone prepare for what's going to happen. Everybody who's been released from jail or prison. Everybody who's on disability and food stamps. Everyone who's had as so much as a decrease in hours that they work. Needs to be given a minimum. A bare bones minimum. Of two thousand dollars a month for the next six months to help them prepare for what's going to happen it's obvious it's very obvious to me what's going to happen society is ripping itself apart the things that happened recently in the last six months it's it's only a catalyst that accelerated just how pissed off how deluded from the system how untrusting of the people in power and control just how untrusting everyone else is to them and just how a lot of people really feel like they're being treated like shit because they are. What I'm suggesting is another band-aid solution that'll help people prepare for what's coming. I'm gonna suggest that everyone in my situation and similar situations to what I've described for getting two thousand dollars a month minimum for the next six months I'm suggesting that you all get seeds and saplings and livestock and if you've got land to put them all on and grow them start preparing to make yourself self-sustaining growing your own fruits and vegetables and nuts and legumes and whatnot and then having your own livestock for produce. Some of you can do this. I, I absolutely know that some of you can. But for other people who are in uh, much similar situations to me, renting from someone else on disability in food stamps, I can't go off and start growing things willy-nilly. So, my options are to attempt to wait for people's kindness and generosity in supporting me through the links in the description because I'm attempting to provide some sort of 
value of entertainment in exchange instead of just bumming it off you like a fucking cunt that's that's uh, one of the options to wait for people to help me out so I can help myself out my other option is to wait for the finalization of the crash of the housing and commercial land market so that I can capitalize on that which would only be possible if the first thing actually happened and people gave me money to work with so that then I could buy land and start farming on it to make sure that I'm set up and I can take care of myself and my family and possibly a few others you see, you see what I'm going with this it's all about giving people what they need so that they can accomplish the end result efficiently now people in power and control your part that's said and done now people who would be getting this money oh yeah and one more thing before I continue before I forget people in control and power over other people erase everyone's uh, history and everything start all over not everyone's history culturally everyone's everyone's um, legal history give everyone their, their opportunity to start all over okay provide the incentive for people to stop rioting and looting and go home and start building their own farms and crops so that they can take care of themselves their families and possibly their friends once they get set up and going that way you take the strain and the stress off of this bullshit that's happening okay now on to the second part people who would be getting this money and a complete wiping of your record my suggestion is to get the seeds get the livestock get the knowledge of how to grow plants in whatever environment you're in how to change the pH balance <coughs> of the soil if needed how to maintain a self-sustaining crop system where you you don't have to keep changing which plant is in which plot for which season get everything sussed out as much as possible work together in groups if one guy's got the land you all go plant on his land and, and you take turns rotating in and out to take care of it and help it grow okay it's that fucking simple some of you are gonna know what I'm talking about some of you aren't you can teach the others as you go along life's a learning experience why would this be any different my suggestion is to do that first and after you get your uh, your planting stuff situated then worry about guns to defend it because let's be honest last uh, stimulus thing that went out had uh, a subjective clause shadowy hidden inside of it somehow to increase the cost for buying weapons and munitions this this shadowy subversion plays into the narrative that everyone's pissed off yeah you people in control you don't like that do you you don't like playing this narrative up instead of coming out and being honest do you 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 didn't feel very right does it just come out and be honest you're fucking afraid if I were in your position and all I gave a fuck about was controlling other people and suddenly I look at it and see everyone's pissed the fuck off 
I'd be afraid of them too. Take the first step that I've already given you as a suggestion. Take the first steps towards not being two halves facing off and fighting each other and instead coming together as one whole fucking global community. <clears throat> there we go. It's just another bit of uh, philanthropy for the situation at hand. And no, it's not going to be fucking easy as I said it. Me saying it's fucking easy. Doing it. Nothing worth doing. Nothing worth having. Is extremely easy when you first start out now, is it? Especially in the current situation where people have been doing the wrong thing for a very long time. It's going to be incredibly difficult to turn over and start doing the right thing. Also, for me personally, I am attempting through a proxy who is in the local um, power company to get the attention of the the local managers, CEOs, board of directors for the purpose of making a system, an electrical system that's closer to self-sustaining, closer to economic and economic viability, and closer to being green, and closer to extinguishing the need for fossil fuels. I'm talking specifically about energy recycling and efficiency maintenance. In this uh, ideology system I'm trying to develop, trying to develop, why did I need an ED at the end of that? Uh, because I've already made the idea, now I'm just trying to get it put into actuality and reality. It'll be focused on managing the resources you have and recycling energy. Recycling energy through the system from hysteresis through thermal coupling to electricity. Thermal couplings work that way. They take heat and convert it into a small electric charge. You, it may not seem like much, but when you have millions of homes can producing heat energy through the uh, electric system, such as the lights I have going, or the or the TV, or the, or the computer, or laptop, or the fucking con game console, all those electronics produce heat. If you have millions of those being recycled, hysteresis of heat going into electrical discharge from a thermocoupling back out onto a separate system that ties into the main system, well, it sustains itself for just a little bit longer with a lot less input now, doesn't it? This will help wean the system off of fossil fuels. This will help wean humanity off of the fallacy of money and currency. Because it'll switch from a kilowatt or watt per hour basis to a system maintenance basis. And it'll go from that to being, okay, these are the resources we need to get, go and get from these companies over here and because we're all doing things just for the sake of doing them because they need to be done let's go get our resources put them in place and go home for the day and there won't be any focus on money at all but for right now people only need money or currency to prepare for the future. Hopefully, eventually, you'll all be off of this fallacy of money, currency, and value. And instead, you'll be on a system that's heavily in the basics 
of honor, discipline, respect, self-control, and doing what needs to be done because it needs to be done instead of just doing something for the fuck's sake of getting a paycheck at the end of the day. Now, it's very easy for me to sit here and say these things, but with the current system, it's going to be incredibly difficult to put them into action. But first things first. Let's start with the stimulus for the individual who needs it and wiping out everyone's permanent record and giving everyone a fresh start. Show a sign of good faith and it will follow with more. Everybody work together now. Here's your big opportunity to do so. Take this idea and run with it. Oh, and until next time, fuck off.